What's up? It's Matt from Three Pound Fishing. And. <laughs> Cut. Get ready for a fantastic episode from Three Pound Fishing. Thanks to these great sponsors. Oh! <laughs> the first fish of our contest. I'm just going to have to weigh that for our contest because we're going. Let me tell you a lot about a little bit of second home. All right, so Marcus and I are going to have a, a fishing contest. We should be hunting right now. We did a, a sit this morning and and we're going to do a sit this evening. We're fishing in between. We, we should be bored. We got bored. We weren't seeing anything. So we're doing a contest. Big fish wins. It's by weight though. So this is the first fish in the boat. 1.12. That's in the lead right now. 1.12. Ooh. Gonna release him though. It's not gonna get it done. Hopefully it's not gonna get it done. That's right. Beat that at one point, whatever. <laughs> That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Marcus putting it down. Yes, uh -huh. sir. We don't need to. We don't need to weigh that one. That's one point one eight. <laughs> you can throw it back if you want. Oh, that sucker was fighting. Where's your scale at? Okay. Yeah. Just like I said, folks. I see it. 1.08. Oh, it <laughs> doesn't make the cut. It's a good fish, though. Good fish. I'm just going to leave the scale out for now. It's a beautiful thing. Little guy. Let me show you what I'm working with today, folks. Tried my tried and true slasher head from Jinko Fishing with a bluegrass curly fry right there. That's the ticket. There's that loot knot we talked about too. In case you missed it, I'll show it to you again. Because that's the kind of guy I am. Don't ever do that with your teeth. That's what your mama's going to tell you. Marcus, you want to pay attention to this? Do you? A lot of ways to do it. Through the eyelet. We're going to go really big this time because we got this curly fry we have to get through there. I'm lazy, I'm not taking it off. There's your loop that I created with those two fingers. There you go. There's a bunch of stuff there. Normally you'd wet that down just so it doesn't singe the line, but we're lazy. Check that out. 
And if you're curious, I'm still winning the contest at one pound, point one two. <laughs> That's a good fish. Hey folks, don't forget Grizzly Jig Show 23rd through the 26th, Crothersville, Missouri, three pound fishing. We'll all be there. January, January 23rd through the 26th. What did I say? Yeah, January. There you go. <laughs> All I did was play the line. I saw the line jump. <laughs> That's a good fish. People are curious about the rod I'm using. It's just a prototype from Ozark Rods. You're gonna see something like that in 2020. folks. I feel the kicks. Oh. <laughs> I still don't think it's a 1.12. I'll just do it for fun. Why not? 1.18, is that what it was? 1.18. Yeah, 105, 105. All pounders though, man. You gotta love that. Six. So let's talk about side imaging and using it while you're standing still. This is a, an awesome tool to use. We use it all the time. Marcus is using it in this episode and stealing some images from a previous episode here. But as you can see, these are the shadows of the fish. And that's what you're looking for, folks. You want to keep it running while you're sitting in the back of the boat. You can cast to whichever side you're seeing these shadows on, and you can clearly see these big blobs. That's what you're looking for. You can see the white long streaks. Those are the fish. Those are closer to the actual water column, and then they're casting those big black blobs, which is their shadows, and they're big and distorted because we're sitting still. So it's a great tool. In fact, we use it a lot when we're doing winter fishing. Just an absolute ton. Uh, great tool. Check it out. Marcus is about to put a hammer in the boat.
don't have many fish to show you today. So better get that one up close. This is a perfect example of side imaging when we're sitting still. Marcus called out these fish on the right side. You heard him say it to me. He goes, right side. So immediately I turned. I cast over there. I am not hadn't used live scope to find him. He's the one actually telling me where these fish are at. There's one. Marcus with the assist. He's got a good kick to it. Man, oh, I, baby. A double up? Are you kidding me? Oh, did you believe it? Check. Oh no! You didn't do it, did you? We just doubled up. Look at this. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's a problem. Why? That might weigh more than mine. I don't know. I think yours is bigger. Oh. That's a hammer. That's what that is. That's a double up. That's a good. That's a good deal. All right. So the winning we got so far is 1.18. This is going to conclude our show today. That's better than I thought. 1.12. I think Mark's going to take home the the victory here with this guy. Right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Ninth inning. 1.32. All right, we might stick around just a little longer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. That's peppered over there. And that was with side imaging. That was with side imaging. Check it out, folks. Let's see if I can show you real quick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Four is the new leader in the house. I caught that on that juice color from Jinko right there. That was cool. All right, there you have it. I dominated again today. I win. I don't know about that. What? Were we playing numbers or size? <laughs> if we go back to the video, we're doing size. I, I don't know. I thought I had the big fish. 118 or something like that. We're going to go with that one. Sounds good. See ya.